Today we're going on the best website on the internet and we're talking about drama. Now as some of you may know, Bluebird app is the wild west for internet community drama. If you spend a healthy dosage of 10 minutes a day on Bluebird app, you run into helpful things you need like important news that informs you on things you desperately need, celebrities showing you how good they are at inspiring kids and being worthy role models to follow. Good morning, Conor McGregor. I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now. My team sent you a $50 million offer this morning. $50 million cash, proof of funds, the biggest fight offer you've ever been offered, but you're scared to fight me, Conor. You're ducking me because you don't want to lose to a YouTuber. You're 0-1 as a boxer. I'm 2-0 and as a boxer. Bruh. And in the midst of all the good things going on, we have artists, which is most likely the majority of you watching this video right now, just posting their drawings, trying to find their way, avoid all the drama, and grow their following on their art pages. A few weeks ago, an artist who goes by the name Shexio got into some drama of his own when he got called out and accused of tracing another artist's work while growing his internet fan base. For the longest time, people on Bluebird app and other websites on the internet confused Shexio as another artist who goes by the name Cute Sexy Robots. But later in this video, I'm going to call him CSR for short. Just because their art styles looked extremely similar and they could just easily pass as the same artist. And I know it's easy for artists to be inspired by each other and have similar painting styles or drawing styles or even develop a similar approach when they're starting their images. But it's usually easy to tell who an image belongs to because the image is still going to contain other elements that inspired that particular artist. But when we put both images from Sexio and CSR together, they look exactly the same. The same genre, the same choice of subjects, the same poses, even the expressions on the face are extremely similar if not the same. When we have extreme similarities between two artists like Shexio and CSR, it's easy to blur the line between tracing and just taking inspiration from another artist's work. And when you decide to accuse an artist of tracing, you better come with some really hard evidence to back your claims because tracing is a huge accusation especially for an artist like Shexio who has been posting quality high level images and drawings of lewd girls since May of 2020 which is kind of funny because it's deviant art where he also posts a number of well-drawn females wearing just the right amount of clothing that will make your school teacher chase you out of class if she caught you looking at his work during school hours was also created in the month of May 2020. Hmm. Isn't it confusing and suspicious how he just miraculously appeared out of nowhere in May 2020 and right off the bat started posting high level quality art without even going through a phase of bad drawings like most other artists on the internet. Usually for every other art account, if you scroll right to the bottom of the artist page, you'll find some of their old work where you can see some gradual improvement from where they started to where they are now. But our homeboy Shexio is different. He just started with a bang and just kept going. Now I know 70% of the artists watching this video are probably not starting off with high level drawing skills like Shexio. So I like to help you level up your skills with the sponsor of today's video. Wingfox. Wingfox is an online learning platform with multiple courses and tutorials from working professionals in the video game and illustration industry. And this Christmas, they have decided to launch a 25% discount on the tutorials and courses on their website so everyone can learn and improve their art for the coming new year. Which is literally the best thing to do since everyone is working from home now and if you intend to get hired, you really have to improve your work. The discount starts on the 18th of this month and runs all the way till the 30th, so make sure you grab a set of tutorials using the link in the description. Don't wait till you get called out for tracing. Start learning the right way. On the 6th of November 2020, after getting called out multiple times on Bluebird app, Shexio decided to respond to all the accusations by releasing an entire essay on Twitlonger. Hey everyone, oh boy, big drama today and the accused is none other than your boy himself. For those out of the loop, I'm just addressing something really quick. I woke up to dozens of DMs telling me about people starting a witch hunt because I apparently traced some of CSR's artworks. Now if I was smart, I would probably ignore the vocal minority and let it fade over time. But I'm slightly petty so I want to make things clear. I don't trace. What really irritated me about all this is the proof people submitted to present lies as facts. Like, you know, putting two artworks on top of each other and if a shoulder overlaps, calling it traced. 
Here is one of the most blatant examples of tracing according to Twitter experts. And then he goes on to link another image where both drawings were placed on top of each other. And as you can see, there are slight changes to some parts of the pose and the proportions, but the main drawing and the entire silhouette is pretty much the same. Now, I understand good artists can eyeball proportions and draw them as close to the reference as possible, but having silhouettes line up almost exactly on both images is just ridiculous, even for really good artists. It just feels like the pose was traced and some features and proportions were just changed slightly Likely to suit the new image. Shakespeare then goes off in his statement calling people on Twitter dumb and non-intellectuals and then also bringing other images to use as proof that other artists trace including CSR which is a really sneaky way of defending yourself by using other people as an excuse and parading them as tracers even though he didn't say it directly but that was exactly what he was insinuating. The statement was really long and just filled with name calling and threats to block everyone who failed to believe he wasn't a tracer despite all the suspicions surrounding his art. For someone who has such great skill and a big enough fan base, just going live and streaming your entire drawing and painting process would have resolved the accusations easily and proved to the degenerates that you actually draw and paint your characters from scratch. And on the same day while all this was happening, CSR himself decided to break the silence on the situation between Shexio and himself. CSR posted his response some hours later with some very bold claims which we like to call hard evidence and it wasn't looking good for Shexio at all. The first evidence CSR brought up was the dates between when he posted his images and when Shexio posted his own. All of Shexio's images coincidentally came online two or three weeks right after CSR posted his, which might have just been coincidence since both artists cannot be thinking of drawing the same girl in the same genre, doing the same pose, and even using the same color palettes. Hmm totally just coincidence. Next, he placed both images on top of each other and if you look very closely since it's quite hard to notice, you'll see the perspective of both drawings are the same. The composition of both drawings are nearly spot on with each other. Even the light reflections and cast shadows on both images are ridiculously similar if not the same so you can definitely tell this isn't tracing. Or is it? At this point, I don't even know anymore. It clearly looks traced, but we can tell Shexio is a good artist and has skills, so why should he bother tracing in the first place? CSR's statement really cleared the air and proved that Shexio was indeed tracing his images and using them to grow his account, and also making a profit from it because he has a successful Patreon where he has been posting not safe for work art since September and he has managed to grow about 147 patrons. A lot of people on Bluebird app were just shocked after going through CSR's statement and everyone just immediately started talking about the entire situation with Shexio. I knew the guy had a weird Shapiro similar art style. Glad to know he's a fraud. That's comforting. I'm also glad he could have avoided all this drama and just drawn his own images instead of tracing but he chose not to so he could get called a fraud. It's pretty exciting living on the edge. I always thought you all were the same person, laughing my ass out, which is precisely what everyone thought since the art styles were similar and the choice of subjects were the same as well. Also, Shexio always tries to post on the same day as you. Always thought that was weird. I'm guessing he was trying to get his art seen by the same people that were following CSR and he thought posting on the same day will definitely get his work seen by them. Since they are obviously going to see CSR's image and since the styles are similar, when they see his they'll probably think it's the same artist and start following him as well. I honestly can't deny but that's a big brain move right there. And not so long after, Shexio responded with another statement on the same day. For someone who runs a Patreon and draws a lot, he sure does have a lot of spare time on his hands. For those out of the loop, please read my first tweet longer. I did. Oh boy, here we go again. It's your boy with the newest episode of your favorite TV drama. Mm, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. I I shouldn't even respond and all that. Mm. This is just a bonus round for people who care that much. Mm. I know I said I will leave it at that but CSR himself coming out and stating I am tracing as a fact while providing shaky evidence just doesn't sit well with me. Especially because most people will- Okay stop, stop. Did he just call everything CSR brought up 
shaky evidence. They exactly traced one for one poses, the similar expressions and features of the face, coincidental posting of the images shortly after CSR posted his work. Shaky evidence? I have to give it to Shexio. He just disregarded everything that was brought up on him and is just calling CSR a liar. He also went forward to say placing both images on top of each other, which is exactly what CSR did, doesn't prove everything, even if both images clearly lined up and the perspective was literally the same. It just seemed like his argument was just unnecessary. He kept on saying if an arm lines up and the other parts line up, but the spine is different then that means the image was not traced, which is clearly not true since we can see the main silhouette of the image is pretty much the same and the entire outlines clearly line up accordingly. And the rest of the statement just sounded more and more disrespectful to everyone who sided with CSR and to CSR himself. And then he closes it off with a little joke at the end and you can tell how funny it is by the way I'm laughing right now. The evidence brought up is clearly pointing out that Shexio was tracing from CSR or using other methods and manipulating his way to put his images together. But what I still don't understand is why does he go through all this trouble when he actually has the skill to create his own images from scratch. I understand if he's trying to save time since professional artists will usually trace or paint over an image or even trace their reference directly if they're working on a project with tight deadlines. But I'm guessing Shakespeare is just creating images for his Patreon and he really doesn't have any strict deadlines he has to meet. Right now it's just looking very messy for Shakespeare and I'm not sure if he'll be able to fully come back from this. But if he does, I just hope he can start creating his own images or even just switch his art style so he can stop being compared with CSR which is clearly impossible but it's still worth a try at least for him I guess. And for any artist out there that's confused with tracing or not, there's nothing wrong with taking inspiration from your influences and many other artists and using it in your work. Everyone does that and that's the fastest way to find exactly what you love which later becomes your art style. But don't go tracing other people's images and posting it online, that's just bad. Of course you can trace over a reference photo or weapons or cars and buildings, that's if you don't understand them to the point of drawing them without tracing. But Always get back into practicing your weak points. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, please leave the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I will see you in the next video. Peace.